I'm gonna take this guy off. All right, so this thing just spins right off. We have this mirror that is just not super functional. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ashley, slow down sunshine and here I am in my van and we are just a couple of short days away from being here full-time so I'm doing some some modifications here that I've been wanting to do for a long time I'm gonna take this guy off because I'm not gonna use it and I never have and I don't think it's ever been used and I'm the third owner of this van so I've bought some shelving thingies to put in here and some hooks and I have three of the shelving thingies and a lot of a lot of hooks so we're gonna see how this transforms into a better use of space because I'm currently not storing hardly anything in here because there's no place to really store it um, the newer versions of the Travato have this really cool like cabinet on the back wall and this one doesn't so that's what I'm gonna do today Okay, so I got this thing on four screws in each of these corners, and I have some gunky stuff on here. So, and I'm gonna try to get as much of this gooey stuff off of here as possible. This thing has never been used, ever. So I knew this bathroom needed some organization. So I got onto the Travato owners and wannabes group on Facebook. And if you have a Travato or you're interested in having a Travato, I highly recommend this group. They are so experienced. There's some members in there that have had literally every version of Travato that exists. They know everything about it. There's several mechanics or handymen that specialize in Travatos in that group. So literally anything, any problem that you have, you can post in there and like get a solution in just a couple of minutes. It's a fabulous resource. So I got in there and looked up stuff about organization in this bathroom. Mine is a 2015 59G. These were highly recommended. Shelf and four hooks. I bought three of these sets. So I got three of these shelves and I've got 12 hooks. They're suction cups. The shelf unit's separate. Little suction cup thingies are all the same, um, but you either slide a hook on it or you slide it into the shelf itself. But they're just, I guess, really strong suction cups. <laughs> there were a lot of people that said that these were what they recommended, that they've had them in here for a long time, has been very successful, haven't fallen down. I want to say that each each box was about 30 something dollars, so it was a little bit of an investment. One of the whole other cabinets in there I've been using kind of as a medicine cabinet. So it had our first aid kit in there, it had any cough syrup, it had alcohol, and just any any medicine. It was a total medicine cabinet. I could just replace the whole cabinet with one of these and put all the medicines in here and they're much more accessible, much easier to see everything, and I get that cabinet back, which I think it's gonna be either a work cabinet for me or arts and crafts, I'm not really sure yet. Well, we'll see how that goes. But let's Let's get this up. The directions just say to take off the cover off the suction cup, which I did on this one, and to press it on the wall and to press it um, until all of the air comes out of the suction cup, um, and then it's there. Clean the wall first, clean and keep it dry, which I just did. To take them off, just slide like a credit card or a card or something in there to like break the seal, and then it comes right off. So another bonus, right, that I'm not drilling anything into the wall and it's totally removable. Let's get them on. <laughs> okay, when you take the cover off the back and you go to put it on, there's a hand print on here that says push. You gotta push hard. You gotta get some leverage on it. So I had to like climb up on the toilet seat and put my foot on the sink to really be able to get the push because once, once this one went in, I could get this one from down here and I could hear it. It was like, poof. There was a sound. I heard it and it was stuck. And I couldn't quite get the, get the leverage on this one, but they're up there. And... Ooh, that's pretty sturdy, man. That's pretty sturdy. I'm not gonna put like super duper heavy stuff up in there anyway. All right, so I got all three of them up here. I think I'm gonna test how easy it is to remove them and replace and then move them because I'm thinking like if this one was down just a little bit or if they were scooched over just a little bit, I could put these two right next to each other and it would be like almost like a wall of shelves back here and then I can put all the hooks on this side for like towels, hanging toiletry bag or whatever. Would love to like homey this place up a little bit with a couple of plants in here. I think that would be great but now I'm gonna see if I can take these off and move them just a couple of smidges. 
that was super easy. So I just used my license and like you just break the seal on the edge and they pop right off. And then you push them and they pop right back on. I'm kind of in love with them. Rosie's in here with me now. Really loving these. Let's see what I can put in them, man. Let's do this. So, I'm liking it. I need to get everything that's still in the house out here. What would really be good is that this mirror is not in the best place. And one of those shelves would fit right here and it'd be great to have like a little mirror right here because to use this mirror you have to like stand awkwardly and you have to like lean in and there's no light right here because the light's behind you. And, um, but like here, light right there and I yeah <laughs> dun, dun, dun. so another bathroom mod that I'm doing is the shower drain right here it's a pump drain there's a switch up there that turns on a little pump that like pulls the water out of the shower when you take a shower there's like a, a big a screen here on right here that that keeps like big stuff out but the pump which is underneath the sink in this cabinet, the sink's right there, it has like a fine mesh screen that I heard from the pre the guy that I bought it from, that that thing gets clogged easily and it was something that, that he had to clean frequently because it would the pump would just stop working and it's somewhat of an easy fix, it's not super inaccessible, it's right, right there, but um, just a pain in the butt. So what I had done, which has worked so far, is that I had one of these thingies. So it's meant for like sinks, but whenever I would shower in here, I would set it over that and it would catch like most dusty stuff. And I also, I also keep a rug in here unless I'm showering, which is this like fuzzy, fuzzy rug right here. And that keeps out a lot of the debris and dust and everything too. But one of the other things that I found in the Travato group on Facebook is this, which is, a, What's that well, I don't know that it has a name, but it's um, it's a piece that like I believe it's it's 3D printed. Like someone fabricates these with their own 3D printer and designed it himself. And I'm assuming he has a Travato that has had this problem before. So this was when I got in that group and was like, full timers, what are your absolute necessities? This was one of the things that one of the people mentioned and I was like, ooh, so it's like 30 bucks. It's on Amazon. I'll put the link below again Mom, if you're interested yeah. and let's see how I can get this thing installed in here. Ooh. All right, so this thing just spins right off. As you can see, it's like, it'll, you know, it would catch like leaves. <laughs> and this should thread right on here. If I get it in its spot, twist it on. Wow. So any hair or dust or anything will get caught right there. And that was super easy. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll find out how functional it is the first time we take a shower in here. But that was Mom. my second bathroom mod for today. Hey, so the bathroom mods continue, all right? So we've got I got those up and I got those all loaded and I added, I added that. That's a, that's a Rosie in her natural habitat. <laughs> um, I added that plant that's looking kind of shed. We'll see what we do with that. But so here on this side, we have this mirror that is just not super functional. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bought some more of these things and there's really not like this wall is a bit inclined. This one is like right over top of the sink. This one would be like right next to the potty. So really like this wall is perfect, but there's this mirror here. Yes, baby. Oh, thanks, babes. Okay. Yep, it is better for you to reach. 
So I'm gonna take this mirror down. I may move the soap dish, put that right there. I might put another one, we'll see. I got like three more of these. I may take them back or send them back. They're just from Amazon, so. I'm also painting them, I'm painting them. Oh, and I got a toothbrush holder. The bathroom is a large area of the van. I need it to be functional, right? And there's my toothbrush holder. Yeah. So it's teal and then that, yeah, there's a little rack. It kind of looks like Rainbow Dash's colors. Yeah, cover her from the hand. Oh, oh, she's got it on her hands. And that other little rack goes here, next to the sink. <sighs> so I removed all the little brackets holding the mirror in place, and it's still here. So, and it's. It's not even loose. So there's something, I'm guessing there's some sticky stuff, like the sticky stuff that was behind the shampoo and body wash thing that was up there before. So I'm going to get a screwdriver and see if I can pry it off the wall. Let's see how that goes. Well, that came off a lot easier than I thought it would. It was just, just enough to get it away and then it just all popped off. So now I gotta get all this, all this gooey gunk off. This gooey gunk is not as easy to get off. So it's, it's hard and it doesn't really peel off easy. Okay, kind of like look mustard. It looks like mustard. Yeah, because it likes to wear a long, like on a hot dog. <laughs> it sure does. Hi. So it's been, it's been several days. Um, and this is still going on. Um, I got on to the Travato Owners and Wannabes group. What? Rosie says, welcome to Rosie's Adventure Time. And if you've never watched any of her videos, I'm gonna link her channel up here because it's good old fun. And she's super cute, so don't miss out on those. The suggestions from the group were varied. Some humorous, like put a frame on it and call it art, or put the mirror back on, or tear out the wall, you know, funny funnies but there were some useful comments like cooking oil, like canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever, that it would eat through the adhesive and then I could use a scraper to scrape it off. And it is starting to, so I've put oil on it twice and like let it sit and it is, it is starting to pull off, but not a lot. <laughs> and maybe I don't have the patience for it, I don't know maybe a little bit of that. Um, the other suggestions, like helpful suggestions were to use like a heat gun or um, blow dryer or whatever to like heat it up and then use the scraper to get it off. I have not tried that and I'm not going to right now anyway. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm about to just wash all the oil off with, um, with dish soap and a sponge and go ahead and put one of these like right there because I think maybe realistically I can only get one on this wall anyway because if I have it too far down then I then it's kind of uncomfortable to get into the the faucet so I can go around <laughs> around the adhesive for now and I'll deal with it later <laughs> I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna leave it alone for now so I'm gonna wash it off and get this one hanging up there All right guys, I am about done with my bathroom mods. As you can see, I've got three shelves up there. Got another shelf down below. I had an actual live plant hanging up right there and um, surprise, I didn't make it. So I bought a fake plant. Looks pretty great, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. You can see I got quite a few hooks up here because I have them and I'll hang my towels up there. And I've got my beautiful artwork on this wall. It's custom. It's very nice. I've got this. I got this. Um, it's empty right now. I know I won't say that way for long. So, and here's my little mirror. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Oh, I can see Rosie. <laughs> so that wraps up our bathroom mod.
and ooh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give us a like and check out Rosie's channel because it's pretty awesome. Bye.